All right, y'all knew I couldn't ignore this. It's the video of the UFO or UAP that was caught on film in 2018 flying over a military base in Iraq. The internet is referring to it as the jellyfish UFO, and the film was recently released by ufologist and journalist Jeremy Corbell. It's truly unlike any UFO footage I've ever seen, so stay tuned. We're going to cover everything. Let's start with Jeremy Corbell. He's the investigative ufologist and journalist that released the footage of the UFO. He gained notoriety and popularity when he put out a documentary on Netflix called Bob Lazar, Area 51, and the Flying Saucers in 2018. He considers himself a contemporary artist, ufologist, and he's from Los Angeles. He kind of literally came out of nowhere when it comes to the UAP discussion, but has gained himself quite an audience. Upon releasing this footage, he has assured that the sources are absolutely credible, and the footage is as well. Corbel's revelations about the footage can be seen in a documentary on TMZ called UFO Revolution. But enough about that, here's the rest of the footage. Check it out. A former U.S. Marine Corps analyst disclosed the haunting presence of this jellyfish UFO over an Iraqi military base for years. The leaked footage shows the craft with dangling appendages, visible only on infrared cameras. This contributes to a range of military UFO incidents involving cube-shaped and tic-tac UFOs, along with allegations of secret programs. The phenomena became a base ghost story. This was recounted by Michael Konkoski, emphasizing it didn't appear threatening, but precautions were taken during the unusual nighttime encounter. Konkoski later revealed fellow Marines observed multiple recordings of the jellyfish UAP in Iraq over a U.S. military base. Marines attempted to locate the Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena, or UAP, a more accurate term for UFOs, using night vision and various sensors, according to Konkoski. He claimed having seen the complete 17-minute thermal imaging video tracking the UAP over the base towards Lake Hibernia in Iraq's Anbar province. In his role as an intelligence surveillance reconnaissance tactical controller, Sinkowski clarified that they monitored it to ensure it posed no threat. The leaked 2017 infrared video was shared with Kankowski by fellow U.S. Marine Corps personnel upon his arrival in 2018. According to him, the video was captured using an aerostat, a blimp-like craft equipped with cameras and sensors to detect potential threats over the base. The tethered aerostat radar systems used by the U.S. military serve various purposes such as countering drug traffickers and conducting reconnaissance. After 17 minutes, the UAP disappeared over Lake Hibernia, leaving the Marines unable to trace it. Kankoski clarified that there was no urgent response or defensive actions taken, and the mysterious sighting persisted as an enigma on the U.S. Marine base in Iraq. Despite circulating theories, Kankoski admitted they failed to fully explain the phenomena. Multiple news outlets reached out to the Pentagon for comment, confirming his identity, that would be Kankoski's, but receiving no specific confirmation or response regarding said video. I mean, at the end of the day, would you expect any less of the Pentagon? Of course, they're not going to disclose that this gentleman even existed. It would give too much credibility to the video and the journalists who released it. So, it's just standard procedure by our government. Another similar encounter in Japan, January 4th, 1992. Late at night, a farmer that had experienced strange cattle mutilations in the past was awakened by the sound of his dog barking. The farmer went to investigate, and upon entering the cow shed, he saw a small white object resembling a jellyfish with numerous tentacle-like protrusions coming out its bottom. The object was floating in the air. It then drifted outside where it had vanished. A cow was discovered on the floor. It had a badly broken leg. This next one, out of Warsaw, Poland. Date, September 2nd, 2005, at 5 a.m., a 57-year-old man living in an apartment went to his balcony, and on the other side of the street, at the balcony height, he witnessed a bizarre sight. A glowing white object was hovering 10 meters away. The object was shaped like a jellyfish and was waving and moving like the animal does in the water. After a while, the object went away, and when it was about 100 meters from the witness, it stood motionless for a minute, and then the second it suddenly shot up into the sky and disappeared from sight. So, as you can see, based on witness accounts, this isn't the first time anybody had spotted a jellyfish-style UFO. It's definitely captured the imagination and intrigue of the internet without a doubt, especially among the UFO enthusiasts. The only question I have is, is it possible that these beings could be some sort of autonomous robot built by man and not extraterrestrial at all? Because as you and I both know, our technology is advancing at a rapid rate. I personally believe 
we've already manufactured and successfully built UFO style craft, the anti-gravity speed of light warp drive bubble style craft. And I believe that this could have been done even as far back as World War II with the German military. So when you see things like this, you gotta be reasonable and you gotta ask yourself, could it possibly be military or man-made? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'm curious to hear your opinions on that. Is it made by humanity or is it extraterrestrial? Let me know. The last thing I wanna leave you with is this picture behind me. It's allegedly a digitally rendered photograph from the UFO footage, upgraded and clarified. Now, of course, I'm not sure of its authenticity. It could be absolutely computer generated or CGI. But nevertheless, I believe if it is fake, that the creator got the general gist of possibly what we're looking at. It's pretty neat. Check out that little being right there. It's actually a suit being worn by a smaller extraterrestrial alien. I mean, if they have the technology to travel at light speed and evade all of our surveillance, they definitely probably have some sort of robotic suit that they could just hop in to do everyday tasks or use in the military. Either way, pretty cool, whether it's real or not. It looks pretty legit, but I don't know. It's hard to say. So I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope I covered it well and gave you some insight on the situation. And hey, it's ramping up, y'all. This stuff is crazy. More and more sightings are taking place. It's the revelation, right? Stay in the love. Stay in the light. Stay tuned. I am out. Footage of woolly mammoth taken in Siberia by Russian research team from World War II. If you look closely, you'll notice the distinct woolly mammoth tusks. They're much longer than elephants of today, this coupled with the top of its cranium, notice the accentuated shape of its skull. What do you think, could this be a real woolly mammoth? Why do you think NASA is holding a bunch of classic cars? Do you think maybe they're expecting something like an EMP?